This slide outlines the principles of the pet footing. It is basically a piece of pet below a column which is used to distribute the vertical load generated by the columns to the soil so that the soil bearing pressure are able to generate resistance to the load generated by the columns to ensure the stability of the structure. In the design of the pet foundations, it is normally assumed that the bearing pressure is linearly distributed across the base. The bearing pressure generated by the soil can appear in three forms. First is the pure axial load. The second is the axial load with moderate moment. And the third one is the axial load with large moment. The soil bearing pressures are illustrated here. For the first case here, with a given vertical load due to the columns, the pad footing will spread the vertical loads into a larger area and this creates a uniform pressure from the soil. The stress acting on the soil will be determined by the axial load divided by the area of the pad footing. As long as this pressure is less than the bearing capacity of the soil, the structures will remain stable. In this case, we assume that there is no eccentricity. In the existence of the eccentricity, the vertical load will generate some degree of moment, which give you this case. This case represents the situations where there are eccentricity or there are vertical loads with moderate moment. The eccentricity which represents the positions of the resultant force will be within the middle third of the base. The meaning of middle third is the middle one third from the base. When the base is separated into three equal parts, the middle one third is known as the middle third. The eccentricity is measured from the centroid of the base. With the centroid of the base here, the left and right of the centroid it will be limited by d per 6. Therefore, in this case, your eccentricity will be less than d per 6 in reference to the centroid of the base. Because of the moment here, the stress under the base will redistribute from the uniform pressure into a trapezoidal shape of pressure. Theoretically, the area for the rectangular and the trapezoid will be the same. There will be regions of higher stress and regions of lower stress as a result of the rotation moment acting on the foundations. The formulas to determine the stress below the foundations are given here. It can be presented in this form or in this form. What you see here is the pressures due to the axial loads for the pet foundations with uniform and the with moments are similar. The only difference between this case and this case it will be the plus minus my per i. If you look at the diagram here, the pressure on the higher pressure it will be plus my per i while the lower pressure here P2 it will be minus my per i. Of course it can be represented by 6m per bd squared. The stress will be the same just that it is presented in different parameters. What you see here is 
This line will represent the N per BD. The additional stress here, it will be plus NY per I and the reductions of the stress here, it will be minus NY per I. Now we look into the third case where you have Asia load and large moment. Assuming the moment here is relatively large and the base of the foundation is not lifted. That means the positions here in the foundation here is still in contact with the soil. When the moment increases from here to here, this P2 will reduce and this P1 will increase. The trapezoidal shape will eventually become a triangular shape. Now your centroid of the load will fall at the one third of the Y here. The Y here represents the height of this triangle. And the distance between the centroid of the load with the centroid of the base is the eccentricity. Under such circumstances, the eccentricity will be greater than d per 6. That means it is no longer within the middle third of the base. So theoretically, this type of foundation is considered to be felt. To ensure the stability of the pad footing, we would like the E to be less than D per 6, which fall in between the middle third. Beyond that, it would be rather risky. The stress here now is determined by this formula, which is equals to 2 times Asia loop divided by BY. The B here represents the breadth of footing, while the Y here represents the height of the triangle. And the Y here are obtained from this formula.